It's also that we made. Oh, there's somebody else coming in. Um, it's cowboy caviar. And this is a really popular dish. You've probably seen it before online. Um, but it's really healthy, I think. It has lots of fresh veggies and it's easy to put together. Um, so it's a recipe calls for black beans, tomatoes, uh, jalapeno, green pepper, cilantro, and onion. And the recipe actually calls for a can of diced tomatoes, but um, I had tomatoes in my garden, so we just chopped some up and put them in there. Um, almost all the produce in there is from my garden. Um, and then there's some spices and a mix of red wine vinegar and olive oil. And I think that's why they want you to let it sit once we mix everything together, because you want those, those herbs and spices and the, the red wine vinegar and everything to kind of mix together. So um, it's really easy to put together. As I was telling Alpha earlier, most of the times I think when you see this recipe, people have corn in it. So it's really flexible. If you want to put corn in, you can. If you want to put pinto beans in instead of the black beans, or if you want to put both kinds in, um, very, very versatile. And um, you can just basically throw whatever you want in it. Um, but it's really good with tortilla chips. It's also good as like a side kind of black bean salad if you don't want to have the chips or you don't have any chips. Um, so yeah, that's about, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, like I said, we'll let this sit a couple more minutes and then we can have some folks do some tasting and see what you think. Um, we can adjust the seasonings, put in more um, olive oil or red wine vinegar or salt or pepper. So, hi. hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the cowboy caviar.